Sparky, come! Teaching your dog to come when called. Karen Peak, West Wind Dog Training. Coming when called is an important skill. However, there are things we need to keep in mind. There is no such thing as a 100% reliable recall under all circumstances. There will always be that one distraction that our dogs may find too enticing. This is a behavior that you will have to practice and keep refreshing. You need to be the squirrel, be the most important thing to your dog. Dogs must have a positive association with their people and their names. There are different types of recalls. I call the first a competition recall. This is what you would see in various types of dog sports. The second is what I call a real world recall. This is what the average person needs in their daily lives. What is the difference and why does it matter? Competition style recall. There are at least six steps. Step one, tell dog to sit. Step two, tell dog to stay. Step three, walk away. Step four, turn around. Step five, call dog one time. Step six, dog comes to you and sits. However, is this the real world? No, the dog has multiple steps before he is called to you. What happens if you cannot do all those steps? The dog may have no idea what you need. Think of each step as a link in a chain. If I remove a link or more, is the chain whole? No. Here is a real world scenario. It is 3 a.m. and your dog needs to go out. You do not have your glasses on as Sparky goes to his potty spot in the yard. In the back corner of your yard, you see something black, white, and fuzzy. You have no idea if it is a skunk or if your neighbor's cat snuck out. All you know is you need to get your dog called to you and away from where he is sniffing before he sees the critter. Remember, there is no such thing as a 100% foolproof recall. You do not want this to be the moment that Sparky decides chasing the critter is more valuable than coming to you. Will you trust your dog to be able to come when called if you have only taught competition style recalls? You cannot use those first steps. All you can do is call your dog. We are going to focus on coming when called for the real world. First, some review. Remember, we saw this earlier. There is no such thing as a 100% reliable recall under all circumstances. There will always be that one distraction that our dogs may find too enticing. This is a behavior you will need to practice and keep refreshing. You need to be the squirrel, be the most important thing to your dog. Dogs must have a positive association with their people and their names. Before we begin, never call your dog and punish for whatever was being done. Your dog will not associate his undesired actions with your anger. Your dog will associate the cue to come to you with your anger. Next time, he may not come back to you. Also, your dog may start associating you with scary things. Anything that makes your dog associate you with bad things can negatively impact your dog's desire to come to you. Additionally, Correction-based methods of teaching a dog to come when called can have the opposite effect. Decades ago, when I was first learning how to train dogs, a lot of our recall training was correction-based. One way of teaching a dog to come when called involved a leash yank and pulling the dog to you if needed. Once the dog realized coming to you meant the leash yank stopped, the dog would supposedly come when called to avoid the bad things. Well, how does this make you a good thing? What happens when the dog is not on leash? Why should the dog come to you? We need to be the squirrel, the ball, the hot dog, all rolled into one. I cannot do this if I'm yanking my dog to me. So how do we be the squirrel, the ball, and the hot dog, all rolled into one? We make ourselves worth coming to. We make ourselves better than everything out there. Coming when called must be a great thing. We observe the environment and set our dogs up to succeed. We make our dogs want to be with us 
over everything else. We do not make excuses for why our dogs are not doing what we need. Instead, when our dogs do not do what we need, we take that information and use it to drive the focus of our work. There are two main elements with coming when called. First is the distance. This is the distance between you and the dog and you, the dog, and distractions. The closer you are to your dog when beginning, the easier for the dog to come when called. The further you are from distractions, the easier for the dog to come when called. Distraction. What is going on around you? A quiet room may be a better place to start training than a park with squirrels and children running around. When you make one D, either the distance or distraction harder, make the other one easier. If you increase distractions, decrease your distance from your dog while increasing your distance from the distractions. If you increase your distance, decrease your distractions. Collect high value things your dog loves. Think about what your dog responds to the best. This could be food, a game, and hopefully you. Your dog determines the value of the reinforcement, not you. This is what you are going to use to encourage your dog to come to you. Very things, I will use food, the ability to chase me, the ability to tug a toy, etc. Again, my reinforcers are determined ultimately by the dog. Make yourself higher value. Play games with your dog. Be inviting. Be the source of all that is good. Here you see this puppy happily not coming towards me as I'm taking the video. She's going for my daughter. Start simple. Little distractions, short distance, high value reinforcement. Here I am in my kitchen working with Lilith. Lilith was about 11 weeks old at this time. I had limited distractions, just a few toys on the floor, which for a puppy can be a lot of distraction. My distance was extremely short, just a few feet, and I had a high value reinforcement. Oh, good girl, good girl! Good, yay! Lilith, come! Oh, good girl! Good, yay! Teach in a variety of areas. Each new area is a distraction, so manage the Ds accordingly. Just because your dog has a wonderful recall in your backyard, does not mean he will be able to do a recall in the field behind your local school. If you are in an unfenced area, use a long line, not a retracting leash for safety. A retracting leash has too many variables to it. You need to know that your dog is coming when you call him and not because he hears the mechanism disengage or feels the reel start taking up the leash. Remember, make yourself the highest value thing out there. Come here. Good girl. Good girl. Oh, we're getting all the cookies. Take a look at these dogs. Which dog is set up for success? Take a look at the dog in green. Look at all the neat things his person has. Look at the dog at the bottom. Which dog is set up for success? If you said the dog at the top, you are correct. This dog has less distance and very limited to actually no distractions. The person has things the dog wants to show the dog why the dog should come when called. What a recall is not. A recall is not an excuse for allowing your dog off leash or allowing him to run free. Some dogs work well off leash in safer areas. However, even this takes dedication, training, practice, and knowing where you are. What you don't see outside this picture is behind that brush and trees, 
was a very main road. We were also near a farm. I did not want to risk my dog deciding to take off after one of the farm animals that was new to her. A good recall is not an excuse for allowing a dog with behavioral concerns to roam loose. A good recall is not an excuse to violate leash laws. Most areas have leash laws and we must make sure we follow them. A good recall is a safety net. A good recall is a behavior all dogs should learn and learn to do with pure joy at the thought of returning to you. So, get out there and work with your dog. Learn how to teach a good recall. If you have any questions, please reach out to a positively based trainer. In fact, many of us will do online virtual training so you can stay in the comfort of your home and reach out to a trainer who is miles away. Thank you very much. Karen Peak, Westwind Dog Training, www.westwinddogtraining.com.